Hello and welcome from the Black Heart. Here's number 14 in my series of lessons in the presentation of Bizarre Magic. Devil Box. An email from a magic dealer dropped into my inbox. Devil Box. Well, of course, that piqued my interest. So I checked it out, anticipating some occult or spooky effect, utilising the described beautiful wooden box made from teak. The effect was described thus. Show a square box having a sliding door in front with two slotted holes in either side near the middle, a metal rod, a stand, along with a small block which has a hole running through its centre. Open the door of the box and place the block in the bottom of the box and close the door. Now insert the rod through the slot and immediately remove the door to show that the block has magically floated upwards and impaled itself on the rod. Well, not much to invoke the devil there. The illustration showed a nice looking wooden box, but again nothing to indicate satanic connections. Before we watch the demonstration video, I also want to mention the performing style. What is this magician's little finger syndrome all about? Why do many magicians think they need to do this? Do they think it looks magical? Well, it certainly doesn't. It looks contrived and totally unnatural. Look at my video, Top 3 Things You Shouldn't Do With Tarot Cards or Bizarre Magic. Number 1 is, don't stick your little finger out. I'll leave a link in the description. If you think you know why so many do this, then please leave a comment below. Anyway, on with the video. Well, there was absolutely no magic, was there? It was presented as a mere puzzle. A puzzle for the audience to guess the solution. And did you see the finger snap? What was that for? Was it supposed to cause the block to move? Was it supposed to be a magical gesture? Really, even as a mere puzzle, there was a lot lacking. Indeed, I had to watch the video twice before I realised what had happened. It was really a non-event that wasn't even very entertaining. Basically, a wooden block moves slightly inside a box, and that's it. Anyway, now look at another demonstration of this so-called effect. I think it's a bit clearer what happens here as it's filmed from a lower angle. Of course, we see the same odd finger movements from the performer, although I use the word performer lightly.
So you can give an effect a bizarre magic name, in this case Devil Box, but it certainly doesn't mean you have a bizarre magic effect. What could you do to make this a true bizarre magic effect? You could decorate the box appropriately, perhaps with a couple of pentagrams and make it part of a story. We could make it a psychokinetic effect. In either case you'd need to account for the handling of the props. Why is it taken on and off the stand? Why are you poking a metal rod through the box? What is the box anyway? So it's actually quite a weak effect. The cube rises about a centimetre inside the box. Big deal. But combined with the right story to catch the audience's attention, it could be entertaining and bizarre. So then, here's my challenge to you. What would you do to turn this puzzle into an entertaining, bizarre magic effect? Please give us your ideas in the comments. That's it for now then. Get your bizarre magic thinking caps on and let us know your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this latest video in the series. If you did, please give the video a like.